So you might be in a situation where your Wi-Fi on your Nintendo DS or DS Lite or Nintendo DSi aren't really working or isn't working. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons. So there's a few things to keep in mind. One, these are older consoles. So these don't really support like the latest and greatest Wi-Fi connections that we have nowadays, like or 5G Wi-Fi connections or anything. So sometimes you'll have to go through and you'll have to connect to a 2G version of that Wi-Fi. So make sure you have a 2G version of that Wi-Fi enabled. Whether you have a Nintendo DS Lite or this DSi, you'll have to make sure that's the case. So make your way over to your wireless communications of your particular console. You can also make your way over to your you know, Nintendo DS game that supports the Wi-Fi connection, the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. That's an option that you have there as well. So here, we'll go and turn this thing on, and all you want to do is just go ahead and make sure you're within a vicinity of a 2G Wi-Fi connection. That's kind of the first thing to keep in mind. Now, on top of that, if your Wi-Fi is still not working when you're actually going through and trying to connect to your Wi-Fi internet, another thing you may want to try doing as well is to go and make sure that you're within an area of that Wi-Fi connection. So the big thing here is that for that Wi-Fi connection, you'll have to make sure that you're within that area, like you're not super far away from that router. Our phones are a little bit different because we can be super far away from our Wi-Fi router, but we can still get signal from our phone. That might not always be the case within your Nintendo DSi or your Nintendo DS Lite. So you have to make sure you're significantly closer to that type of router because there's not these things aren't really built to be like the best Wi-Fi picker uppers in a way. So make sure that's the case. And as long as those things are good, you should be good to go for the most part here. So you can also try restarting your Nintendo DS. It's another thing you can do and, and again, try moving closer to the router. But those are kind of the main things to kind of do here. So that kind of covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.